the alphabet in German called Das Alphabet. Repeat after me. Das Alphabet. Yeah. A is called. A is called. A. A is called. A. And B is called B. C is called C. Repeat it. A. A. B. B. C. C. D. D. Yeah. And E is called A. F is called F. G is called G. G. H is called H. H. Okay. Repeat from A to H. A. B. C. D. A. F. G. H. I is called E. J is called Yot. Yot. K is called Kha. L is called L. Okay. In alphabets, we call J Yot. But when we write it in a word, we pronounce it as a Y. For example, I am writing one name in the chat box. Each. Okay. How will you pronounce it? Yulia. Yulia. Yeah. Rishdish. Because J is pronounced as Y when it's with a word. And simply, it's called Yot. M till L. Or from L till N. It's same. L M N. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. You know this. You can repeat. Um, from A to N. Yeah. From A to B. Try. A B C D A F G H I J K L M N. O is called Ho. O. P is called Pe. Pe. And Q is called Ku. Ku. R is uh, R is R. R. S is S. T is T. S T. T. Yeah. U is U. U. V V is V. Oh. Huh. And remember, V is always pronounced as F when we write it with a word. For example, give me an example. You know it? Fear. Fear means four. You know that W is called V. V. X is called X. X. Y is called Epsilon. Epsilon. Yeah. And Z is called Z. Z. Yes. And we have four extra alphabets in German, which you can see on the screen. This beta sign. Beta sign called at Z. Repeat it. At set. At set. Yeah. At A above A, you can see two dots, which is called umlaut. Two dots called umlaut. So we pronounce A like A. We have to stretch A with two two dots. Yeah. And O will be U. Uh, o. And U will be U. Uh. U. Yeah. Got it? Any pronunciation you want me to repeat? No. All clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then repeat. Schnell. From A to U. A B C D. A S G H I J K L M N O P Q L S T U U V V X Y Z Z Z Z and A A A O O U U Yeah. Okay. Everything is clear. Yes, ma'am. Okay, when we write uh, this beta sign in a word, we pronounce this S like that. S. S. Yeah. Okay. Everything is clear. Because I am going to ask you. Anything? Yes. Okay then. What is T? T. Okay. T. And what is X? X. Hmm. Good. V. What? V. 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 Hmm. Didn't remember. Okay. Try to speak it from A. A. B. Uh -huh. uh, C. Z. Yeah. Hmm. Don't think in English. If you think in English, that will come in English only. A B C D E A F F. Ah, I didn't remember. Okay, need more practice. Now. F A B C D E F G A. Yeah. Then. I is called E. Yeah. J. J. K. H. L. L. L will be same. L. L. M. M. H. N. N. O. 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 Yeah. And P. And P is there. Yeah. And Q. Hmm. Q. Q. Yeah. R. R. Yeah, S is same as T is T. U. O. V. W. 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 It's on the screen. V. V. X. X. Y. Hmm. 
Y. Epsilon. Epsilon. Yeah, and Z. Z. Yeah. And then four extra alphabets is H Z. H Z. Uh, then A. O. o and U. Yeah. Okay. And remember, A simple A. This A we call it A, like double A in English. And E is always pronounced as A. And I is always pronounced as E. J is Y. When we write it with a word, V is F. And D is pronounced as T. Can you give me an example of this? D is pronounced as T. Anything that ends with D. Abend. We have Abend. How do we pronounce this? Abend. Yeah, Abend. It ends with T. The, oh, okay. Mostly pronunciation of D is T. T. Yeah. Like we have V is F. That you have to remember. For example, Tanya. Tanya. In English, how will we write it? T A N Y A. But in German, T A N J A. That is Tanya. Okay, ma'am. Hmm, not okay. You have to revise this. You don't know. Okay. Okay. Good. Moving forward towards numbers. Numbers in German called Zahlen. 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 Yeah. Repeat from zero. Zero is called null. Null. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Very good. Okay. You know numbers. Very good. And on what is twelve? Uh, Zolf. Okay. And seventy-four. Fear on. Zip. Zipsish. Zipsish. Yeah. And what is twenty? Okay, try to speak from eleven to twenty. Elf, Zolf, Drei, Zehn, Vier, Zehn, Fünf, Zehn, Sechs, Zehn, Sieb, Zehn, Acht, Zehn, Neun, Zehn. Zwanzig. Zwanzig. And okay, your correction. Okay, ten called. Zehn. Zehn. It's Zehn. Zehn. Zehn is different. Zehn means to see. This Zehn means to see. And this ten is called Zehn. So Drei, Zehn. Repeat it. Drei, Zehn. Drei, Zehn. Yeah, Zehn, Zehn, Zehn. Zehn. Yeah, right. Zain. We are Zain. Repeat it. We are Zain. Yeah. You know greetings. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Okay, then good. Okay, goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Und auf Wiederhören. Both are correct. Auf Wiedersehen and auf Wiederhören. Hören we use in a sense when we are talking on a call. And auf Wiedersehen. Wiedersehen means. And when we see each other. Yes, ma'am. See, Zehan means to see. Hören means to listen. Bye is called cheers. Cheers. Or ciao. Ciao. See you soon. Called bis bald. Bis bald. See you later. Called bis später. Bis später. Yeah. Okay, you know formal and informal way of introducing yourself. You know how to introduce yourself in German? Little bit. Ne. Yeah. Okay, kind problem. Formal and informal way of asking how are you. For example, if I ask you how are you in German, how will I say it? We have two ways of saying it. Formal means uh, if you are uh, talking to your colleagues, the office persons, office members, hmm. where the person that you don't know too much. And informal way, you're talking to your family and friends. So you have to ask it in a formal way. Then you will say, "Be it as dear." Yeah. And informal, "Be it so be it as dear." Yeah. And answer of this, if I ask you, "Be it as dear." Me as good as good. Good as get me a good. Or simply good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, introduction of yourself called Zish for Stellung. Zish for Stellung. Yeah. Formal is called formal. Formal. Yeah. Repeat or uh, try to read it from first sentence. My name is Julia. Yeah. My family name is Schmidt. My father name is Herr Alex Schmidt. Means my father's name is Mr. Herr Alex. Herr means Mr. Yeah. So okay, you know all the things. You know everything, but you didn't remember it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. This one, read it. My name, mother's name is Frau Emma Schmidt. Very good. Next. I come out in Delhi. Yeah. Next up. I born in New Delhi. Yeah. I speak Hindi, English, and Dutch. English. Eng. English. English. Yeah. Good. Next up. We feel yara alt. Sindhi. I been zain yara alt. Okay. I been student. Yeah. Student. No, not student. You are student. Do you understand a little bit German? Next, ne, not. Me, me, ma'am. Okay, no issue. Yeah, next up. Ich bin lead. Leadish. Leadish. Mean, I'm single. Next up. Mine hobbies in the Tanzan, Lazan, and Rizan. 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 Tanzan means dance, Lazan means to read, and hmm. Rizan means to travel. Hmm. Okay, you have any question from here? No. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, ask. Ma'am, uh, in the first, uh, ma'am, when uh, you told me that how to uh, ask how. Man in formal way. Uh, you can try. Speak in Hindi. It's okay. 
Yes, I'm being greater than Nina. In this, I can also be small than Nina. I'm not. It will be capital. Ma'am, when I was learning some conjugations, ma'am, in the school, so sometimes it was written with small i. Yeah. Okay, you are asking me formal informal way. Okay, so firstly, you have to know the difference of four z's. We have four z's in German, right? You know the difference? Okay, I told you the formal z. Formal z is always capital. So here we are doing, we are asking in a formal way. So uh, inan is the possessive article of z. Z inan. If you remember, you you have you done a possessive articles? Yes. Ma First, not pronoun. Yes, ma'am. Okay, pass it now. Okay, not remember. Ish, mesh, do, dish. Z, d. Remember, ish, yes. mia, do, yes. dia, z, inan. Yes, ma'am. This inan is possessive article dative. Why dative? Because we get. Okay, it is is a dative. Always dative. Yeah, yeah, you know this. We get is always dative. So that's why we have added inan possessive or personal ah uh, personal pronoun of dative, which is from z. So we have two z's. Okay, first ish and dia. Okay, I'll show you my table. I don't know how have you learned it. What am I? I am showing you my. So in the first row, singular and plural, we have ish and dia, and then do and dia. This is informal. Do and ear is informal second person. Second person means when I am talking to you, you are second person for me. If I know you, you are informal for me. If you are one, then I will talk to you in do. If I am talking to you and your mom, you will be in plural. Getting it? Yes. Okay. Then I will say ear. If I don't know you, we are meeting first time, so I will say you Z. Why Z? Because I am talking to you in a formal way. Z in a sense like you are single. Okay. Singular. See in the singular row here. Singular row. We have okay. Z. Z means you. <laughs> Second person formal. If I am talking to you and your mom in a formal way, then also I will say Z. Ma'am, then it will be you all. Yeah, meaning will be changed, but in German it will be same. That is Z, and Z in a capital Z. Remember, second person formal, both singular and plural. Both singular and plural are capital Z. Hmm. Third person, third person. Always. Ma'am, when two people are like talking for uh, talking. Uh, Out other person. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, third person is always in small Z. Remember, second person is always capital. Hmm. Capital Z and third person is always in small. small. Yeah, so that's why we have added capital I. Inan. Inan is according to you. Z Inan. So that's why Inan I is capital. Got my point? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any other question? No, ma'am. Okay, good. Now we will introduce ourselves in informal way. Informal called informal. Informal. In yeah. Ish Haisa Yulia Ish Bin Yulia Ish Haisa Yulia Ish Bin Yulia Yeah Next My family Haist Smith Next My father Haist Her Alex Alex Smith Yeah My mother Haist Her Haist Frau Emma Smith Very good Ish Bin Twenty Ara Ah Ish Twenty Twenty is called Ah Zwanzish Zwanzish Yeah Zwanzish Ara Alt <laughs> Next Ah My name Hop My hobbies is in the tandan and dyson. Yeah. Next up. My Liebling's flower is blonde. Okay. So which color right now are you happy about? Blue. Yeah. Very good. You know colors. Okay, here's the colors. Black is called schwarz. White? Weiss. Next. Blond, gelb, blau. Green. Hmm. Brown. Hmm. Rosa. Orange. Orange. Orange, blau. And violet, 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 or nila. Okay. Nila is purple, and violet color is called violet. Okay, ma'am. Okay, now we'll be learning the phrases in German. The phrases, you know this? Repeat it. Um, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Danke. Danke, danke schön. Yeah, this means thank you. Vielen Dank, thank you very much. Once again, once again, what's that? Feeling down. Yeah, good. Feeling down. Thank you very much, Rita or Peter Shion. Welcome, Peter. Please, welcome and welcome. Okay, wait. Okay, have you you have read from Peter, Peter Shion, Peter Welcome. You know the difference? Difference between Peter and Welcome? You know this? Ne? No. Okay. So Peter and Peter Shion means welcome in return to the thank you. If I say thank you to you, you will say Peter. And bitter. I mean, well, common will be used if some guests have arrived. Ah, right. When you welcome someone to your home, yeah, there. And okay. bitter is also mean please. And how will you differentiate between it? It's depend on the pitch, depend on the tone, depend on the sentence. If the sentence polite, and with it, uh, it's bitter is with other sentences, then it means uh, please. And if you're writing bitter in a single way, 
That means welcome. Okay. Okay. Next. Enter. And should begin. And should begin. Z better. Excuse me, please. This is a formal way. Why? Because I have written it Z here. Z is formal. Means you. Ma'am, if the S and the Z would have been small, then it would have been in. Once again. Ma'am, if the S and the Z would have been small, small, then it would, then it would have been informal. I'm Why you will write small Z? It means they. Small Z means they and she. You cannot excuse she. How will you say excuse okay. she? Nay. Excuse they. Nay. That is false. Okay. Next. And she will dig on you better. Excuse me, please. Yeah. I stood to me a line. Huh? I am sorry. Now I am more better. Once, Once again. Once again, please. Better, better, Holland Z. Hmm. Please repeat. Okay, repeat. And should digan see better once again. And should dig. And should digan see better. Once again. And should digan. And and should digan. And should digan see better. And should digong out. And should. And should digong better. Good. Okay. Next. Time problem. No. Problem. Time no. problem. Because think logically, E is pronounced as A. Problem. Ma'am. The- Kaina Anu. Right, very good. Kaina Anu means I have no idea. Kaina Anu. Kaina moment bitter. Bitter, yeah. Test the moment, please. Christish, right? False, false. Yeah, yes, nine, no. Yeah. You go, you go practice. Yeah, you have to do lot of ibungan. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, try to speak from ten. Zain, Elf, Zolf, Dizan, Biazan, Fumzan, Zexan, Zidan. Zain, 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 Uh, we are on we are on we are on zwanzish ja wir haben von zwanzish sechs und zwanzish zwanzish sieben und zwanzish acht und zwanzish neun und zwanzish und dann dreißig dreißig okay oh okay ja yeah, you can do this the tiara means the animals they are on which is the dog the cat the cat the cow cow the cow the cow das the pferd the pferd horse das schwein pig the mouse Aus der Hase. Hase means rabbit. They are Han. Hmm. They are Leoba. Hmm. They are fish. Can I zoom it? No, ma'am. It's fine. They are Fogel. They are Afa. Das Schaf. They are Essel. Hmm. Das Krokodil. They are ma'am. Is there umlaut over? Yeah, umlaut. They are bear. Bear. The giraffe. Giraffe. Yeah. The elephant. They are elephant. They are elephant. The Slanga. 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 Slanga is the same. You know conjugations of verbs. How to do it? I'm of some I know. I'm of some verbs I know the conjugation. Okay. Uh, tell me the conjugation of simple regular verbs. Any regular verb you like? Is they her? No, for I'm talking for they her. Is they her? Do they his? Then there is he is it. Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> No ma'am. Okay. So, zehan is a irregular verb. Zehan is a irregular verb. Your conjugation is wrong. Why? Because zehan is irregular verb and in irregular verb the conjugation is little different. Okay. Right? But you have to change the verb. You have to change the vocal. Vocal is a word. The pronunciation. Okay. Do the conjugation of this. This will be easier for you. Regular verb. Zagar is a regular verb. Ish zagar du zagst. Er is sie sagt. Then we are zagan. We are We are that, and Z Z Zagan. Everything very easy. Get the conjugation. Okay, do it now. Ish. Zaga. Hmm. Do Zagst. Then. Z. Z Zagan. Then. We are Zagan. Then Ish. We are. Okay, see on the screen. R Z S. Ah. Uh, R Z S Zagst. Okay, ma'am. Hmm. Then we are. We are Zagan. We are. Uh, here, Zakt. Zakt. Z, Zagan, Z, Zagan. Simple. Okay. Okay. Bye. Namaste. Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Yes.